Icons of Rock presents. You know I got a thing for dudes with long hair. I'm gonna, you know I got a thing for for beautiful English women. Okay. <laughs> well, blondes, I know that. Your wife's a gorgeous blonde. Yeah. So. Um. So. Personality is what counts. The whole. Lita Ford Universe. Tell oh me about. Oh boy. Oh boy. Are we oh going to settle in? Everybody get a hot chocolate yeah. and settle in. Anyway, quick, real quick. Went to Europe after Space Rangers. Did a couple of releases there. Did a group called Eyes with Mike again. Things, you know, got homesick for California. Came back to California. First thing I do is I run into an old friend, a bass player called Ray Marzano. And he's saying he's working with Lita. And he d introduces me to Dusty Watson. So I look up Jamie Herndon from the Space Rangers and I go into, of course, Artie Rip studio I gravitated to because I knew the person that was managing it. Sure. I got time, went in with Dusty and, and uh, Jamie Herndon and we cut 10 things I wrote right away, which is which was 100 watt head right. and um, they're great. But all of a sudden Ray comes to me and says, you got to help me with Lita. He played me a demo. I thought it was good. And I met with her at a drive-in movie. We took a bottle of scotch and uh, got to know each other and uh, decided that we work, I could work with her and she could work with me. So I became her manager. Um, I went to Russ Reagan right away and got a deal going and um, got Artie Rip involved because of the finances, to finance the project, because it looked like it was going to take a little while to get it to the point where it was really you know, tight and sellable, even though, you know, it was going somewhere. It wasn't well, I mean, ready there, to there leap are, into it. There are a lot of moving parts, studios, photographs, right. hair, makeup. Oh, I built. I, I even. Singer, he's, yeah. there's a whole lot I handmade her her leather outfit. Wow. Yeah, I got her the deal with uh, BC Rich Guitars. I got Dusty a deal with Slingerland. We got this Riz on Amp deal, and we were in the Artie Rip studio, and I started working on it. We start getting two songs ready for the album, and she wants to fire uh, Ray Marzano, my friend. So I have to do that, and I lost a friend. Uh, he brought me into it, and she wants him out. I'm manager, so what am I supposed to do? Oh, so, so I'm ready to scour, you know, LA to look for another bass player. And Dusty calls me up and said, uh, uh, "Lead and me want you to play bass." So all of a sudden, I'm playing bass too. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I start writing things and doing things with her. And make a long story short, the album gets done. I think she's my friend. I get stabbed in the back, I'm yeah. out, but the funny thing is I never mastered the album, wow. you know, so I took the album back and was going to say, look, you, you want all the stuff, give me my deal the way it's supposed to be, pay me for my production, pay me for my management, I never got paid. Right. Kim Fowley warned me and I got the stab in the back. I did return the tapes, but they mastered the album without rolling any bass on it at all and was constructed to roll bass on. Right. You know, because of her guitar being so loud. Right. And uh, not, my, not my favorite thing I ever did. And she is definitely not my favorite person. Probably the pe person in the music industry that I find most, most uh, treacherous and most deceiving. And, you know, it's a hurtful thing to go back to and think that you put all that time and effort into somebody as a friend. Sure, I didn't get it in writing, but I had it. In, I thought I had it with her heart, but the, it was a heartless thing. She had no heart. Well, so consequently, that's when I got out of the business. I did a few little things after to help some people, but that was the last record I really made. Just soured you on the whole deal. Yeah. Right? Well, please come back to the music business. We miss you. I'm back, and guess who brought me back? Well, I wouldn't hazard a guess. You did. Oh, no, I can't take. <laughs> no, you. Believe me, I cannot take credit. For no, that. the, I would love the to, internet, but I the take. internet, and the fans out there, and you know, and the cult following, and everybody selling my records for a hundred dollars a piece, and me not making a penny. That brought me back. You brought and, you back. And we're, finding we're, you, and and this company, to. and helping me with my website, and and to go on from here is is just the greatest blessing I've received in this business for a long time. Oh, thank you, baby. Mwah.